So do you all like chocolate? Because we got some chocolate for you today. <laughs> Still didn't do the intro song. It'll be epic when we do it, but it's not, you know. So epic. But it's, we're just not there yet. Just not. We'll fall on the grounds and cry because of how beautiful yeah. it is. It's like, wow, these guys are so pro. Mm -hmm. Speaking of professionals, we're here again today in the studio. Thank you for joining us at Versus Vegas. We've got chocolate galore over here. So excited. As always, I'm your host, Hugh Douglas. Ooh. And with me, as usual, local troublemaker, Julian Marmuse. I'm Julian Marmuse. That's you, Marmuse. So we got two of the city's top chocolatiers here. Uh, not necessarily duking it out. They're both fairly awesome in their own right, but they kind of serve different uh, different niches. How awesome is that, that Las Vegas has more than one chocolatier? Yeah, uh, there's a bunch. They're just, they're all over the place, but these are the, these are the best ones. These are the, these are the, these are the Glen Gary leads. <laughs> you walk in the vault somewhere? <laughs> just. Yeah. I don't like Kevin Spacey anywhere near me though. Yeah, no, that's probably, it's probably a good call. It's, uh. Just, just forget, forget that all happened. But yeah, we've got uh, we've got some prime time examples here. We've got uh, Ethel M chocolates from Henderson, and from the uh, western side of the strip, we have uh, Jean Marie Avoine. Hopefully, I'm and not uh, ruining that. Yeah, uh, honestly, it is such a shame that this is in geez. black and white because these Jean Marie Avoine chocolates, they are just exceptionally beautiful we'll, we'll yeah oh, we'll, we'll toss to them amazing yeah I'll, I'll throw something in we'll throw something in the post so people can see yeah they're they're gorgeous they are fantastic like art pieces i almost don't want to eat them oh yeah it's gonna be tragic but i sampled some uh, they were they were kind enough to give me some samples at the factory and uh yeah no i'm going to eat them that's that's a foregone conclusion they are magnificent so chocolates. you have already tasted them i have uh what's I, better the look or the taste you know it's it's phew, that's tough that's a tough call they look like art pieces and they taste like magic so i feel like it's one of those those things it, it's a rare thing where you where you get the the really fancy uh mm -hmm. food stuff and it's like oh man like that actually tastes as good as it looks usually it's it's one of those things where like the more pretentious the design is mm -hmm. of, of a food thing the yeah, less you, you can really you like sacrifice flavor for aesthetic and well, that's okay you know well it's, it's like sometimes you just want something beautiful yeah and i mean there's there's you know there's a craft to making food look good but it's it's one of those things where like you you almost don't want to eat it or it's like a weird thing to like get into with this it's like Oh man, this looks like whatever. You bite into it, it's like, oh, it's fucking candy. Candy! I'm jacked up. I had some of the stuff <laughs> not too long ago. We stopped in and uh, I, oh, I am just, I'm cranked. It, it's, it's like, it's natural cocoa. Uh, uh, Chef Abouan, uh he sources his own beans. Uh, according to their site, he's got like a, a blend of, of, cocoa beans that he uses from his... where does he source his beans oh, let's, see, let's, see what it says. let's find out let's see what it says here uh 12 step bean to bar processed uh directly from cocoa growers from the dominican republic ghana and venezuela oh that's quite a wide yeah he's spread he's, he's, he's all over the globe it's kind of like those like really fancy coffees almost where he's just like yeah. he's, he's sourcing they got some cool action shots of him like sorting beans and stuff like that's that's the kind of you know uh, so he blends quality. the beans from all three areas uh i would imagine i don't know I'd, i'm gonna have to to pick or does he have special um chocolates from each I location know. i don't know i didn't get a chance to to ask him i'm going to though i talked to their you gotta uh, i talked to chanel their their vp when i was there and they are they're doing a project uh they do uh, uh kind of uh manufacturing for hotels and things like that as kind of a uh 
uh, I forget what the term is, but they're like the they're like a white label manufacturer. So they they make fancy stuff for some of the higher end hotels mm-hmm. in the valley. And um, you've probably if you stayed at some of these really upscale places, you've probably run into their stuff before. Um, but because they're doing that, they're not uh, doing factory tours or anything like that. But I did reach out and, I, and we're going to set something up as soon as they have some availability because Exciting. they are awesome and I really want to dig deeper into this process. Stay tuned versus Vegas viewers. We would have, You're in for a treat. We would have uh, gotten deeper into this, but we, we had to squeeze this one in. It's the end of, what do you say? It's, it's International Chocolate <gasps> yep. Month. Uh, National, Chocolate National Chocolate Month Chocolate is month. February, probably because of Valentine's Day. And the day after Valentine's Day, which is Clearance Chocolate Day. Yeah. There even you go. better. Um, but yeah, has This is kind of the opposite of that. <laughs> celebrate a little bit. This is this is not your your bargain basement, uh Hershey's Kiss, uh weird, not actual chocolate chocolate. This is, yeah, is this is the real is deal. Not. This is like most people don't know that, that the average chocolatey uh concoction uh the average chocolatey concoction is is not um it's not actually chocolate it's like chocolate flavored or it's such a little amount of of cocoa mm-hmm. that it's it can't even really be classified so you'll see chocolate bars that say like chocolate flavored uh-huh. or whatever it's not actually chocolate this Delicious, is like just milky and chocolatey taste yeah it's you know uh and it's so most people don't know that that's a thing and they don't know that there's there's a, a distinction there but yeah the, you you know if you actually have the uh, the cocoa beans and you get the the fat and and that's how you make actual chocolate it's a different mm-hmm. product and that's what that's what we have here today it's like actual artisan chocolate this guy like i've never uh, read somebody get so crazy with the bean selection before like yeah, I, you know, it's one of those things where it's like I would imagine probably you know you get it from wherever. I know I know Africa's a big source. I didn't know uh, Venezuela and, and the Dominican Republic did it, but apparently they do. And you know the results speak for themselves. Uh, we'll we'll get into these. Uh, actually, while we're while we're on it, let's uh, let's try them out right now. Um, okay. What do you guys What do you guys want? We got this this Ugh. fantastic, and they have a they have a. Uh, chocolate passport that's so neat does it explain what each chocolate is yeah it does um so yeah you get in here and and it gives you uh their story and that's so detailed oh my goodness all of the uh all of the little uh illustrations and uh so yeah uh, we're gonna try some of these out and uh we'll we'll accompany them with the little uh uh explainers we got here so what do you what do you guys want to try what do we uh, what do we got i did this little uh kind of uh avant-garde let's see which which one is that one oh the passion it's a uh, passion fruit caramel and milk chocolate oh that's what wow I did. that's what it last one's pretty pretty fantastic it's this little pyramid looking guy very geometric not a shape you see often in chocolate i did that one uh at the thing i also did the uh the salted their double sea salt caramel it's fantastic uh i tried out the uh decel which is their smoky sweet caramel mm. yeah, it's, it's good it is good stuff so you got a cherry over there uh i don't know let's see let's see what we got i would imagine there's a red one i don't know if that's uh it says this is the boost so it's goji berry interesting would you like to would you like to sample the goji berry yeah all right, we're going to give uh, uh, our director here, uh, we'll give him the, the goji berry, which... Uh, kind of looks like a goji berry. It's Yeah, it's pretty fantastic. We'll, we'll throw up some uh, some <laughs> higher depth illustrations so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, we'll throw this over here. Marmuse, think about, think about which one you want. I am thinking very hard. It is a tough choice. Yeah, the colors, man. It's like... <sighs> it's like these the round ones have this kind of like uh jackson pollock paint splatter mm. thing going on they're like marbles oh. okay just give me one of the colorful ones and don't tell me what it is until i try it okay there's there's this one it's like a it's kind of like a gold and uh blue scenario mm. here yeah it looks and... like the planet earth a little bit 
Let's see. Spell to underdress is that kind of jacked up. Yeah. I'll tell about the three PC Jenna mm. Wow. Let's see. Which one is that? Try it out. Try it out for me. To see. What mm. flavors are you getting there? Maybe like pomegranate? Or. I don't know. It's very exciting. I believe that one was the uh, passion fruit ganache. Mm. I am going to try this one. It's got this crazy. Let me see. Is that. Man, some of these flavors are crazy. Caramelized apple bliss. Uh, honey saffron ganache. Honey saffron, saffron ganache. Oh, man. Mm. Uh, lime and coconut ganache. It's the the sunset. PB and J. Oh man. Oh, I, I. Okay, that's one I can recognize right off the bat because it's got a, it's got a, got a cool little uh, purple and and peanut butter oh, kind yeah, of setup to it. Um, try that one out. Oh my God. Does it taste like a PB and J? Mmm. Peanut butter, uh, peanut ganache, raspberry jelly, and milk chocolate. And my God, that is, that is outlandish. Oh man. Oh, crazy, crazy stuff. These guys really like outdoing themselves the flavor. And yeah, just as a, a little aside, I mean, we went down there, uh, we were trying to find um, uh, some local sources for this kind of uh, last minute. And they really, uh, you know, kind of uh, rolled out the, the red carpet for the Versus Vegas crew, um, let us sample some of their uh, awesome setups, gave us the rundown on the, on the business, uh, talked about... Um, how they're trying to build up their retail side because like i said they they did this uh they've been doing uh stuff for hotels and things like that and they're trying to build up their uh retail efforts uh after kind of COVID slowed down the hotel business out here and uh they're talking about being the uh best kept secret in town and i'm like well we're gonna we're That's gonna true. i didn't get rid know of that, about that them thing. before yeah, we're gonna tell, uh, pretty much tell today everybody about these guys so. so do you know what hotel i can stay at to get some of this chocolate i'm not sure placed but I'm, on I'm, my I'm, pillow I'm, I'm sure i can reach out and, and figure out where they're where they're at um but I yeah they were like they were that's worth a staycation uh super I, I talked to their social media director about some of the stuff they're doing and really really accommodating really uh really friendly setup i mean i was i was blown away uh, and they gave us definitely gave us some goodies to try out on the show so uh really uh, appreciate that and and definitely want to get the word out about these guys they're awesome mm -hmm. if you don't know about them find out about them go try them out i mean if you have any kind of uh, fancy gift giving that you need to do, uh, birthdays, anniversaries, things like that. This will set you apart. This will uh, this will get you some brownie points with whoever, um, or if you're just if you got a sweet tooth, go check them out. It's fun. it's crazy, like crazy good quality. Yeah, just these next are really level. just works of art. Oh man, like yeah, just they look like astoundingly mm -hmm. artisanal, and and the flavors go above and beyond to match that. So that's that's definitely it's a feast for the eyes and, and and for the the sugar addict and all of us oh man all right moving on from that to the uh flm setup another henderson FLM. another henderson uh uh location which is nice for me because the flm uh, much like the booze district last week is maybe 10 minutes from my house maybe <laughs> like in traffic i think i had to go down sunset and it was like bumper to bumper traffic and it was still less than 10 minutes henderson's got all the good stuff oh, booze yeah. chocolate come on down what more do you need and, you know new hockey teams and fun and yeah that's henderson's where it's at if you're looking to get off the off the beaten path there and i feel like that's that's what 
kind of ethel m's uh, claim to fame it really is is it's it people who want it oftentimes when when people are visiting and they want to go somewhere that's not necessarily a strip thing but they still want to do something that's you know kind of uh touristy they'll go to mm -hmm. Bethlehem because they're home to the uh cactus gardens which yeah. uh is, is fun it's really they have a really cool variety of of local desert you know uh flora and, mm -hmm. and fauna and you get to touch all the cacti. You're not supposed to touch the, touch the cacti, Marmuse. Okay. If, took, took if Marmuse nobody's down here. looking, <laughs> you can touch it. Took Marmuse down here, and she's just like, ooh, like touching every spiny They're right there. They're just thing. begging to be touched. Uh-huh. Viewers, please don't touch the cacti. I'm the only one who gets to do it. We're just going to film, like, Marmuse just, like, ruining her body, mm -hmm. touching all the cacti down there. They're and then we'll never be allowed back to so Ethelheim again. tantalizing. Ethelheim's so story is is the best. I like just the background story from those guys is I I think it's the funniest thing. Uh, so back in the in the early eighties, uh, Forrest Mars, the guy uh, behind like Mars bars and M and M's and stuff like that, uh, he's retired. He's bored. He's just like I got to do something with my life. He's just you know don't want someone to rot away in retirement. And uh, so he decides to set up shop in Southern Nevada with another chocolate business. And it's like, uh, so he names it after his mom and uh, he picks Southern Nevada for the most Southern Nevada reason. It's because he wanted to do booze chocolates. He wanted to do <laughs> like, liquor filled. Uh, yeah, cordials. Vegas. And uh, he, he's like, yeah, well, uh, nobody, like there's not a lot of states that are gonna let me do this. So he's like, yeah, fuck it, Vegas. And comes down here and sets up shop, and they've been making uh, delicious upscale chocolate stuff ever since then. Uh, it's a cool spot if you've never been or you don't know about it. Um, they do uh, kind of a, an interesting tour setup thing where they have a it's uh, like a big glass wall where you can see the whole process and, and walk through and do a little walking. Mm -hmm. um tour to see all the steps of how they're making the, the chocolate and then they have a, a shop where you can get any kind of variety of of uh crazy chocolate mm -hmm. convections that they do there and um i wish i'd remember the the booze thing would have grabbed yeah sadly we don't have any liquor filled chocolates the... today but it's a reason to go back yeah no, we'll definitely uh, we'll definitely have to hit them up and see if uh, we can get a boozy, <laughs> a boozy chocolate uh, a tour or something when they have the availability there. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's an interesting spot. It's, it's definitely uh, that one's more along the lines of a of a touristy stop, I'd say. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and for locals, if you're just if you're looking for like a, a Saturday afternoon thing to go do, it's off the beaten path. It's technically an outdoorsy thing if you are trying to entice the the outdoorsy uh yeah, trick people into thinking you're outdoorsy yeah like hey, taking them to the cactus let's go to garden. f1's cactus garden it's like oh shit there's a candy factory here too let's uh yeah you have fun with us cacti i'm gonna have a milkshake or something i, I think they do shakes and stuff down there too mm. so it's yeah get crazy with that yeah. so um yeah, it's it's definitely an interesting uh, spot if you want to get out, get out and about, and uh, see the the nature around here. But also, Loki, just go get amped on chocolate, and you know, it's, that's the place to go. So they have their setup. Do we have a Do we have a key for this? We got the uh, we got the classic sampler from them. Oh, we do. Okay. We got a nice little. Uh, key here for the for the thing classic collection what is in what is in the classic collection uh shall i tell you about all of them uh give us some highlights which ones sound interesting to you which ones sound interesting to me um interesting or delicious either or okay so they've got this milk chocolate pecan caramel rapture Ooh. which is fresh roasted pecans wrapped in buttery caramel drenched in milk chocolate that one is Right there, maybe? Nice. What else? Which one's the one that's wrapped up here? Um, I think that must be the milk chocolate almonds butter crisp. Oh, okay. Which is crunchy bites of almonds brittle drenched in creamy milk chocolate, which also sounds 
Amazing. Nice. Mm, there's a milk chocolate raspberry satin creme. Which is... The satin creme. <laughs> uh, small batch raspberry cream covered in milk chocolate. All right, hook me up with that one. That one's got my that the one's got my satin attention. Creme. The satin creme. All right, uh, let's see. <laughs> As we lose all of our French viewers, <laughs> like I'm mispronouncing Avon's name. Um, you know, I asked who I'm like, I got to make sure I don't mispronounce it. So okay. hopefully I'm not screwing I up too bad. I think this is the right one. Okay. We'll find out. Let's see. It's always like roulette with chocolate, man. You never know. It's like, which one's going to be the one that's filled with like, you know, like well, creme de menthe or something, you know, it's like mm, toothpaste. At least there's this handsy dandy Ooh, yeah, that's chart. The one. Yeah. It's red. I think you got the one. We have a winner. All right. And how is it? It's good. Now, this is where, I, like, I don't want to pit these two against each other. That's not, because they, they operate uh -huh. kind of in different segments. This one's good if you have kind of a more traditional palette, or if you're giving to a more traditional, you know, uh, it's definitely upscale, and I'm, I'm sure their processes, I didn't get mm -hmm. super in depth with theirs. Um, it's definitely like it's well-made stuff it just it feels more along the lines of what you'd expect from yeah a... uh looking at this of course this is the classic collection but it does seem to be all the traditional chocolate box mm -hmm. flavors you know it's got the caramel and the nuts and the coconut and yeah all the things you would expect from a box of chocolates i am going to try this almond butter crisp Wrapped up in the fancy foil. Nice. Mm. Super special. Got that ASMR guy, crinkled paper. Hey, you're Ron Corduroy. What do you want? Okay. Uh, which one is this one? It's, it's the chocolate one, of course. Mm. Don't don't tell us. Did you figure it out? Have you identified it? I think so. All right. Don't tell me. I have to guess. Yeah, he's got to guess. Here you go, sir. <laughs> he got he got the toothpaste one. <laughs> Is that road tar? Road tar. Uh, no, no, not road tar. Close. It's a legume of some sort. Peanut? Almond? Keep guessing. <laughs> Cashew. Keep guessing. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you're, it was a nut. It was the dark chocolate macadamia salute. Oh, okay. Buttery macadamia sealed in bittersweet dark chocolate. Zesty. Or at least I think that's what it was. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the one. It definitely was a, a nutty consistency. Which one are you going to try? Or which one did you try? Oh, I tried the milk chocolate almonds butter crisp. Oh, yeah, how'd that go? And the crinkly paper. Very good. Um, it's the kind of candy that gets stuck in your teeth a little bit. But it's It's good tasty. that we're not on camera right now for that. Yeah, fortunate that this isn't being filmed. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, uh, it's not the Shorts channel. Uh, go check out the Shorts channel if you haven't, versus Vegas Vertical. It's uh, all yeah. the vertical. Turns uh, out all people short, want to watch. Short form content you can just handle. Just Brandy cooking. Yeah, we, we, uh, we've been doing a lot of stuff in the test kitchen to get some some uploads up. we got to do uh, something with the, the, the chocolates today. But uh, we've been getting, it's been blown up. If you guys aren't checking it out, go check it out. It is... Uh, it's weirdly more uh, appealing to people than than this fine, in depth review stuff we're doing in the in the studio. I don't get it. It's, I don't get it at all. Yeah, it's all part of the. <laughs> it's all part of the thing. It's like TikTok, like a like a YouTube view, equates to like a hundred thousand TikTok views. Because who cares? Like you see these kids got like a hundred million followers and stuff. It's like, yeah, because all your videos are four seconds long. <laughs> you know, you get like ten thousand. Like we got a thousand. We had a thousand views on that one video on the shorts channel mm -hmm. and it equated to like nine minutes of watch time. <laughs> it, it all came from the same 12 year old kid. It was great. <laughs> so, you know, but yeah, go check it out. It's fun. If you want some, some, if you want a little quicker, 
quicker bite of the the life here in Vegas, go go check that one out. If not, come watch us try delicious chocolate and get your ass to these chocolatiers. That's mm-hmm. that's the takeaway for this. All right, one more order of business today. Uh, and before what's that? We, before we head out, we have to talk about our our March project. <laughs> yes. So. Uh, I'm sure you guys are all familiar. If you're watching this, the Vegas channel, you're all uh, probably uh, either chocoholics or gambling addicts, which is I, we we filled that niche between the two. <laughs> we we aren't catering to the actual alcoholics today because we we didn't bring the boozy chocolate, but that's probably the next time next time around. That's we've been very booze heavy so far, so we yes. covered the whole trifecta here. Uh, but yeah, so if you're familiar with March Madness, you know the, you know about the bracket system. So we're going to do something similar to that for the Valley. Um, but we're not limiting it to sports teams or restaurants or anything. We are literally going to do 64 bracket spaces of just everything fun about the Valley. Yeah, see, originally it was just going to be uh, 64 casinos just competing against each other, but plans change yeah we needed to broaden the scale plus there's a lot of casinos that aren't operating right now namely the uh fucking palms because we keep trying to go do the damien her stuff down there and they just <laughs> haven't been open shark. yeah i want to see that oh i want to get the shark for our art for our long suffering art project that's what our art project is waiting for. We yeah. gotta wait for the Palms Casino to open. So we can get the because we filmed probably a hundred hours of art content to to make up for the fact that they're not doing verse uh, not doing the first Friday, and we haven't released an episode of it because we just we we want that shark. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that Mummif- shark's gonna be on the bracket. Mummified shark. Do 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 do. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of to monetize. And there it goes. And it's done. I'm but pretty yeah. sure anybody's allowed to do Baby Shark. Technically, like, the Pink Fong didn't come up with it. Right. It was, it, was a, it was a standard before, like, a kid's campfire standard before mm-hmm. that. So um, they did the, the melody, but you know, the song has existed for a million years. So, But, yeah, anything anything in Vegas that exists in Vegas that brings you joy, uh, be it a... a hiking trail or a restaurant or uh, a casino we're definitely going to have casinos on there or a park anything that is a thing to do in vegas that's in vegas like i don't want to like you know go to mcdonald's like fuck you that's not what this is about if you have a thing to do in vegas uh submit it to us put it in the comments uh we'll also put up a poll on our twitter uh, we'll put up a uh, post on Instagram that you guys can uh, respond to, and then we will be uh, doing the matchups every day on our Instagram story and mm-hmm. on Twitter, um, so you guys can vote for your favorite thing. Uh, if you have a uh, a business in the Valley that you want to throw your hat in the ring, hit us up. We'll be putting the bracket together. You have until uh midnight on this is leap year right so we have 20 29th maybe do we let me check is it is it i don't fucking know i'm gonna look like last year okay yeah no so it's a it's a standard (laughs) yeah no i'm thinking because the olympics this year i'm thinking it's Mm -hmm. a leap year no um so yeah you have till midnight on the 28th so sunday night uh to submit stuff for us to put in the bracket um and then we'll start start the matchups uh, Monday, and uh, we'll do a we'll do probably another uh, episode to kick it off, and then we'll do updates uh, throughout the month on the on the show. We'll do updates on the uh, on the shorts page too. Uh, we'll do a daily uh, recap of uh, that's I, that's perfect. I think that's perfect content for the shorts yeah, page. Yeah, for sure. Every day we got the uh, the March Madness uh 2021 we, we gotta come up with a catchy title for it but it's it's basically march madness for vegas stuff valley madness i don't know we'll, we'll we'll workshop it but that's what we have in the works uh in the meantime put your uh, title ideas in the comments yeah, as well just throw it down there everything in the comments uh make it happen 
and then uh, we'll we'll be updating on that throughout the month of uh, March. The winner will be receiving a hilarious uh, uh, neon trophy from us, uh, courtesy of Versus Vegas, so they can have bragging rights in like a store window or on their trailhead that they're the best uh, in Vegas for for twenty twenty one. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's the, the project for next month. Uh, in the meantime, like I said, uh, we've got, uh, uh, big thanks to, uh, the chocolatiers at mm-hmm. Jean-Marie Avon. Absolutely. Go check them out. Go either to the store, to the website, order them, get in on the deal. They're fantastic. They're lovely people. Uh, really cool with the show. Can't thank them enough for uh, helping us out uh, today, uh, especially given the relatively short notice. Um, also, big thanks to FOM for not uh, kicking Mars Moose out for touching all their plants, and uh, yeah, for also uh, hooking us up with some some uh, goodies for the show as well. So thanks to those guys. Um, and yeah, so be uh, on the lookout for the March Madness stuff coming up, and we will catch you on the next one.